Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Long Dark. We had a uh, quite an exciting episode last last week. Um, we made it through the Muskeg and down the train tracks, and we got attacked by the bear, by the old bear, and then the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis showed up again. And then Methuselah is here. Talk to him. He was cryptic as always. And I need to make some more water. So normally, I'll go back and watch a little bit of what I recorded. Just, you know, for quality assurance. Water, here we go. Um, and I'll make notes of things that I need to do. And one of the things I put is make more water. While we're waiting, while we're waiting for that oh, to cook, <coughs> picked up some clothes last time. So let's check out the quality of our clothes. I suspected these would be better. They're in worse condition, but they do way less, and they're better protection, waterproof, and temperature. So we are definitely going to wear those. And if we fix them up, they'll be even better condition. Um, I think I picked up something else too that I can use some fixing. Some socks, decent wool socks, new climbing socks. Okay, so these, these are probably going to be better. Yeah. So we will go ahead and wear those. Now we got two pairs of good climbing socks on. These are still in okay, okay condition. Still no accessories. I'm interested to see what the accessories will be. I'm not quite sure. Okay, the snow's almost melted. The snow on that one's melted. Still gotta wait a little while till it's actually boiled. So it's actually potable. So we can actually drink it. So we've got... There's this bandage. That's a bandage. This is cloth. So let's repair some of our clothing. This is pretty low condition. So I'm thinking that's... And these pants are pretty bad. Okay, so we will fix these pants. And this hat. Okay. Before we do that, it sounds like... That's almost boiled. So let's go ahead and wait past time for this to be ready, because if you wait too long, it will actually evaporate. So let's take that, go ahead and make some more. We'll go ahead and drink that. And make some more. And fix some of our clothes. Yes, let's repair this. Okay, sounds like the water's boiling again. Yeah, almost. It's past time till it's ready. Alright. Let's take it. One more minute. There we go. And let's take it. Okay, let's take the cans. And we did pick up a bunch of meat off that wolf. So let's go ahead and cook both of these. Alright. 
got a little while till those be ready. So let's go ahead and fix our hat or our cowl. This looks like it's going to get it back up to 100%. 97. Close. Okay, these have still got a little while. Just past time till that's ready. Alright, take that. But this one, this one's bigger. It's got more meat, so it takes a little while longer. And let's break down... Some of this stuff for the cloth. Harvest. And then harvest these socks because we're not wearing them anymore. And the meat is ready. We're gonna take it. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat some of the meat we got. That's a tiny one. Um, they're all really good. Um, let's go ahead and eat this one. And this one. And how much water do we actually have now? Okay, quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and top up on that. Alright, so we are back in good condition. Let's explore. So we gotta basically go through the machine shop here, just ahead, to get to the old cabin where the spear is supposed to be. To Ooh, 21%, no, we're gonna leave that. Yeah. Alright, let's go. See, spear would be nice because spears don't take ammo. They basically have unlimited ammo. Although I imagine it'll probably still have durability. What? Ghost wolf. See that right? That wolf is green. What the heck? Is that an actual wolf? Yeah. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and take some of the meat. Okay. Hopefully we don't get too cold. Very strange. Okay, but it is daylight now, which I think is good. Cause I'm not sure I can carry much more. I know, but I don't think the um, aurora borealis like really happens during the day. So. So things seem to be calming down a little bit. Go in here. So although we do still need like a bedroll. Is that another wolf? Necessary. Okay, let's run. Oh, I think he's right on our tail. Ooh, to find some place to escape this cold. Okay. So this is what um, this 
this is what Jeremiah was talking about. The wildlife seems to be going a little crazy for some reason when the Aurora Borealis happens. So it seems that it's still happening during the day, even even though you can't really see it. Thank goodness. 49%. Now we're gonna leave it. I don't want to risk it. Do not want to risk getting food poisoning. Um, let's just leave it. We got plenty of matches. That was good. Oh yeah, we'll take this. This stuff will come in handy. I'm gonna leave that. Doors locked. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. Because the sun's coming up, and I don't want to be burning lamp fuel if I don't have to. Oh, it is still pretty dark in some of these corners. Alright, and you can place it down. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Water bottle? No, I'm gonna leave that. Beef jerky? I can still eat this. Nah, it's pretty poor condition. Ooh, cloth. Yep, I'll we'll take that. See blanket, we can probably yeah break break that down for cloth, but we're actually pretty good on cloth right now since we just took some of our old clothing and made cloth and found a couple here. Ooh, big drawer. Um. Actually, we're gonna leave that. Oh, yes, we're gonna take that though So whetstones you can use to improve the durability on Like your knife and your hatchet. It's to make them last longer Could end up being useful. Ooh, Hook yes so Eventually you can go fishing so hooks are useful for fishing, obviously. A lot of matches here. I imagine... Ooh, that's good. 85% will take that. Tinder plug, we'll take that, we'll take that. Okay. <clears throat> and then we will see... Actually, let's just look and we'll put it in here. Let's look at our other hatchet. Hold on to the better one. Okay. So the one we picked up was slightly better than the one we already had, so we just kept the new one. But I like that, like, there's matches. This stuff will come in handy. 100%. That there's matches in, like, every toolbox. Because, like, every mechanic I know smokes. Okay, pry bar. No, the one we've got is 100%. Alright, we'll just leave one of them here then. So it just it just seems very accurate that um, all these toolboxes have smokes in them, or lighters in them, matches, all of the above. None of the above. Heavy hammer? Excellent. Suitable for metalworking. Hmm. Okay. Quality tools. Okay. Interesting. Crackers. Yep, we'll take those. Those are in good condition. Furnace. Oh, we can cook here. Um, we don't really need to. No. Hey, buddy. Nothing on him. Forest Talker Flyer. It's time to rise up. 
we can no longer stand idle and watch our beloved Great Bear continue to be raped by the resource companies. If you care about saving this island, meet up at the old lodge on the outskirts of Mystery Lake Provincial Park. Cell service and sat phone access is spotty, so use the sneaker net? Remember, they're watching, so be careful who you trust. Book. So it seems like they were coming. Broken metal control box? No. So. I think I can use this. Um, we'll go ahead and. No, we're gonna leave that. Um, work gloves. Worn work gloves. Okay, let's see how these are. Because as great as the gloves we're wearing are, they're very heavy. Yeah. So they are much lighter. But they're worse in just about every condition, except for running. Except for speed. Yeah, we're just gonna hold on to the ones we've got. This will come in handy. And we'll take that. Um, we're gonna put these gloves that we just picked up in here. Okay, how are we doing on weight? Probably terrible. Yeah. Got a bathroom over here. Flare. I think I've already got a couple flares. Let me check. Got one flare. Yeah, I can't. I just can't be picking up too much more stuff. Good thing about flares is they do last a long time, so. If you really need one, hopefully one will just do the job. Horn thick wolf sweater. We'll check that out. Ooh, that is really good. How about compared to this one? Okay. So point four, point four, ten percent, two percent. Okay, so this one is better. So we will switch it out for this one. Okay. And then, yeah, I can tell we're walking slower for sure. Let's put, which one do we just take off? The hoodie. Okay, put that in there. So you can get water out of the toilet because it's clean water, but um, we're, we're good on water, so I'm just going to leave the toilet water in there. Let's see what's in these lockers. I could use this. We're in work boots. Okay, we'll check them out. I imagine the ones we've got are better. Or windbreaker? Yeah, we'll check it. Soup. Yeah, we'll take that. I think it was in good condition. Yeah. Okay. So, let's check the boots. Yeah, I know the ones we've got are better. These ones are a bit stronger against attacks, but these ones are better in every other condition. So, just make sure, try and keep everything consolidated into one place. Okay, is there anything else I can drop? Oh, I guess I do have two flares. 
Yeah, the hammer is, it's, I mean, it's two kilos. That's very heavy. Oh, we've got three of these. Okay. Let's put some of these in our lantern. Um, let's see how I do that. I'm not sure. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So I don't remember how to put fuel in the lantern. Hold on, I think actions. Refuel, here we go. Okay. That should help a little bit with weight. And then... We can maybe drop some of the extra lantern fuel. By the way, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can hear it or not, but there's noise in the background. That's, that's my guinea pig. She's, so I line her, her bed, her cage with newspaper. She eats the newspaper. And I looked it up and it's actually like supposed to be kind of good for him. So that's fine. Like I said, I'm not even sure if you can hear that or not, but just in case you could. Cup of herbal tea. Pork and beans. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Uh, 36%, we're gonna leave it. Let's see what's in here. Um, we've got some accelerant, we're gonna leave that. Now that, we, now that we've got a bunch of cloth, I'm just gonna leave that. Bad condition. I feel like this place has been abandoned for a while, because a lot of the food we're finding here is just in poor condition. Okay, so there is a bed here. That is very good to know. So we're not too sleepy right now. But I can imagine on our way back, because we'll have to go back through here to get back to Jeremiah. That will be pretty tired, so we might, might sleep here. Crow feather. I'll leave it. This will come in handy. So I was thinking about last time. Um, it's just, it's kind of interesting, and it's also somewhat accurate how, you know, we were, we were actually, we were doing really well last time, and then I realized, I forgot my bedroll, and it's kind of like real life, you know, if you were out here in the elements fighting literally for your life if you make one tiny little mistake it could it could just be the end of you you know and like i'm sure back before we have all of the before we had all the conveniences that we do today like i'm sure that happened all the time you know people would be out and they'd make one little mistake and they you know, just couldn't come back for it. Could come back from it, I mean. It's kind of like uh, The Revenant. If you've ever seen The, the Revenant, the Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio movie. No, we're going to leave that. It's very good. I love that movie. Um, but like, I mean, that's just kind of how people used to live. You know? And before that, it was even worse. Just, just interesting. Hope I can still eat this. Nope. Now we're gonna leave that. We've got a lot of bandages, so we're gonna leave that.
Oh, there's a letter there. Let's read the letter. Aurora Observations. Those lights in the sky are doing some funny things to the machines around here. We found this old shed and the computer started turning on by themselves. Lamps lighting up. We've been trying to call down to the main office when the Aurora, or whatever it's called, is out. But we're not getting through. Can't tell if the phones even work. There are just a handful of us from the winter crew holed up here. Some of them want to try for the coast and the settlements there. If you find this, that's where we've gone. We're still hoping Briar House sends a team up before it comes to that. Even with the fire barrel, we brought indoors. It's bitter cold. So people were out here. It seemed like they were trapped here. They made for the coast. I got a stove here. So what, um, they said they used a fire barrel, but it seems like... This stuff will come in handy. I need to, I should have looked at the, uh, condition of those. Um, last thing you want is bad medicine. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna drop that. Drop all of them. Okay. Yeah, because the last thing you want when you're already hurting the bad medicine. Have we here? Are those more matches? Yeah. Ooh, a hacksaw. I'm sure it's probably heavy. I want to take it though. Could end up being useful. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. I'll leave that. Got another letter here. Crumpled note. Months without pay. Making us deal with these, those forest crazies. Now they're sending me after them. I've had it. After this trip, I'm done. No matter what. You're coming to help? Meet me on the far side of Mystery Lake, near the summer cabins. We'll start there. Either we... I guess that's the end of the note. I think those are just supposed to be like wrappers that they threw in there. Okay. Well, it's cold out here. But, you know, what do you expect? Okay. So I don't... I don't see or hear any wolves. Oh, yes I do. So the Aurora Borealis is making no afflictions. What? Yeah, it's making the um the wolves just more aggressive. Um so we seem to be fine. We didn't get really harmed in any way. But he's like all staggering and stuff. Um. Hmm. Let's start to lose our um, durability. 
on our rifle. I'm just gonna try sleeping, I guess. Hmm, this is a weird one. Let's eat a little bit. And drink a little bit. And then we'll try just sleeping for a little while. Um, let's just try sleeping for like two hours, see what that does. Okay. Seems to be better. Hmm. Then, um, so we're well fed, which means we've been keeping up on our hunger for a couple of days. So we have a higher carry weight now. Okay. So that took me a long time to figure out exactly how that worked. Okay, so we'll have to be very careful with the wolves out here. Paranoid that they're out here. I'm sure there will be more. Okay, let's check our map real quick. Okay, so there's a lake here, and then I think this is the bridge here, so we'll just kind of hit the lake and follow it around to the bridge. So I've noticed, <laughs> as I'm sure most of you have, oh, the lake is frozen. Okay, so I might be able to just walk across the lake. But at the same time, I know water, frozen water, frozen lakes, you can fall through. So we're just going to play it safe and walk around. Um, but the weather outside has been getting warmer. I think that was a wolf. Nope, that's just a rabbit. Um, but it's been very nice. And I've kind of been in this, like, antici anticipation stage. Like, I'm really, really, really looking forward to it getting warm again. And it's just like, we're, we're kind of, we're right on that cusp where it's like, it's getting to be in the high 50s, low 60s. And it's just like, once it hits like 80, I'm, I'm in, I'm in heaven. And I just, I just can't wait. Because... Everything is just better when it's when it's warm outside. You know, especially after a long cold winter. The the warmth that it just it feels so good. And I love I love getting up in the morning and making a cup of tea and sitting outside on my back porch. That's just that's just the best. And um, one of my favorite things was sitting out, sitting out back with my dog, but she passed away this, this winter, so that's going to be kind of tough, but I'll be thinking of her while I'm out there for sure, because of course she loved going out there and, you know, especially in the last couple of years, you know, she's, she was an older dog and she was just you know very chill very mellowed out and she would just you know go outside she didn't need to be on a leash or anything she would you know she'd kind of gotten to the point where she realized okay I like these people I want to just stick with them 
Wolves? I don't want to shoot you while I'm talking about my dog. Oh, I missed. Oh, well, at least scared him away. That's even better. Okay. I'm happy with that. I guess that's good. I'll have to remember that to just shoot around them. Kind of give them warning shots to just scare them away. Just so many. There's another wolf over there. Oh. Okay, let's see. No, that did not work. Oh no! Well, there you go. That's it. Oh man. I thought we were doing pretty good. Well, let's just reload the autosave. So I guess you can't. Um, can't scare off all the wolves. Would have tried a little harder to actually hit it. That I, um... You know, had I thought it would have... You know, just not run away. This time we'll just try sleeping for one hour. See how that does to see what that does to our condition. Yeah. All right, we'll sleep for another hour. See, I wonder if you know sleeping obviously raises your sleep condition. But I wonder if it raises this too. If us not actually sleeping last time has affected our health so seriously. Because if you remember, when we were attacked, I mean, you know, attacked by the bear, our um, uh, sleep gauge just automatically filled up. That's what we were close to losing. That's what. That's why we almost died. So if we were doing a death counter, that would have been one. Oh, God, my ass. Sheesh. I thought we already attacked this one. Well. It's starting to cascade here now. We were doing so well. We'll, what time of day is it? It's the middle of the day. We'll sleep a little bit longer. Hopefully that'll help our condition go up. Our kind of overall general condition. Nah, eh, a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and get out the rifle. it a bit slower this time. Okay. So I thought that since we were since we when we loaded it um we were, you know, we were in bad condition, we were stumbling around. So I thought Okay, that this wolf here is gone. Like we had already 
shot it. sudden okay so I'm thinking we might just kind of hang out here for a day wait for our overall condition to become much higher so we've got plenty of food and plenty of drink and we can make a fire and make more food and water if we need to just kind of wait wait it out kind of just wait for this bar to go up see again I know I kind of said this last time I'm not completely sure how it works so I think you have to kind of stay in good condition for a long time. Try sleeping for a couple more hours. I think it is slowly going up. Okay. So there was a furnace over here. So let's go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Forge. Hmm. Okay. So a lot of this is, is new to me. Okay. So let's start up this fire. See if we can get this forge going. See what we can do with the forge. So the nice thing is there is plenty of coal and some reclaimed wood here. So Okay. Not sure. Okay, so we can cook here. How are we doing? Let's try the forge. 150 degrees Celsius. Slowly going up. Okay. I think I can use this. Okay, so coal. You, uh, you have to wait a certain amount of time for the coal to be useful. Let's see here. 16 minutes. I might have to drop some gear. So we'll wait a little while. And um, so I've, I've I've never used a forge before, so I'm just I'm interested to see how it works. It seems to be staying steady at 14 degrees. So I think when we add in the coal, maybe that'll make the fire run hotter. I don't know if it's been long enough yet. Nine minutes. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make some more water, I guess. See, uh, oh, it's up here on top. Oh, okay. Is there only one cooking slot? Okay, let's pass time till it's ready. Time till it's ready. Take it. Pick up that. Okay, so we can add the coal now, I believe. Let's just add all of it. Yeah, so that temperature is going up now. Pretty fast. It needs to be 150 before we can use it? Okay.
say there was some, I don't remember where it was. There was some, um, like scrap metal around here. Let's go get our lantern. It's getting dark. Line on the ground. Right, here we go. Here's some. Was there some outside, possibly? See, so now that we've got the hacksaw, we can break down metal objects into um, scrap metal. 74. So do we need to add more coal? Yep, going up higher. feel like I'm supposed to use this later. And I don't want to waste all the resources. Ah, here's the scrap metal I was thinking about. I knew it was around here somewhere. No, almost 134. Getting close. So you're probably just supposed to add all that coal that's here. Okay, 150. Forge. No blueprints. Well, that was <laughs> that was kind of a waste of time then. A little bummer. All right. Um. Hold on. I, th I think we actually do have some. Do we have some more meat? Yeah, because we took out that wolf just outside. So let's pass time till that's ready. Pick it up. Something's gotta go. Oh, it's okay, so it's nighttime again, so the Aurora Borealis is back again. Okay, so that's why stuff here is starting to spark. Past time till that's ready. Take it. Okay. I'm, I'm afraid if I get too close, it'll actually shock me. I drop any of this gear. Okay. Um. Let's. Oh man, is that gonna hurt me? Oh. Yep. Yep. So that does definitely hurt you. Oh well. I'm trying to decide if I should keep going or not. Hmm. I'd say the last auto save was twenty minutes ago. I'm thinking we'll just stop here for now. Um, so I think I think we're getting better. <laughs> I think we um, definitely it's definitely smarter to travel during the day because the aurora borealis doesn't seem to affect things as much. Um, so yeah, all right. Well, I'm sorry we didn't get very far this time. And I, I felt like last week was so exciting and then I feel like we kind of made up for it this time. Like with our condition, we were just in such bad condition from last time that it was hard to get over that. But um, 
So we'll get to we'll get to the cabin next time, I promise. Alright. Well thanks for watching guys, and uh I'll see you next time.